career path framework pilot project been successful? Um, I think it's important for us to realize that we're only at the beginning of implementation of the pilot project because what happened since 2008 October was basically to get in place what is needed in order to, to run the learnership that is the first stage of this um, pilot. Now what we've done up until that moment was basically getting the qualification in place, making sure that we've got the the training facilities that would be able to assist with the training and, and then also advertising, looking at the recruitment processes, there's quite a lot that had to take place before we were able to recruit the first 18 learners in August last year. The launch of that was very successful and I think the, the pilot project has really been successful in terms of how quick it took us to get to the point where we are of um, being able to take the first 18 learners into the learnership and by that I mean if you look at some of the other industries they've been involved in this kind of um, initiative for plus minus six years where we've been able to do it in more just a little bit more than two years the first learners are are being monitored very closely also with the pilots and we're working very closely then also with Masita to ensure that we've got accredited um, learning material. When are the learners expected to finish their course? It's only three years from, from the okay. time that they've started. Okay. The challenge that we do have at the moment is that we must realize that government has decided to move now to the apprenticeship instead of the learnership. So for us as an industry, the foundry industry, it's important to be one step ahead. Make sure that we are where, where government, once government is ready to implement that, that we are able to take the learnership and then just uh, carry it over into an uh, apprenticeship or whatever is needed. We want to ensure that we that one step ahead.